Hey, what's up? This is Photon from GlowSticking.com, and this video is in response to Ginseng's video uh, about how you can take things from everyday life and turn them into some sort of a, uh, a way of manipulating your glow sticks for a new concept. So I started thinking, what could I use to make a new concept out of out of my everyday life? You know, I started looking at movies in the beginning and. After a little while of looking at different movies, I thought, well, everyday life actually has some better ideas. I can look at people doing moves in movies all day long, but those moves have been done before. It, it looks like something else, like something that's already been done. So I thought, what about this chain link fence right here? This looks like something that you could get a concept from because it has alternating patterns, which the glow sticks could take. and. Uh, it could look pretty trippy. So I thought, I, I'm going to give it a try, and we're going to do it for the first time uh, right here on video, because I have no idea what this is going to look like. So let's just see here. If I were going to take this particular fence <coughs> and try to manipulate these glow sticks to look like this chain link fence, what would I do? Well, the number one thing that I don't want to do is make a figure eight, because it would be very easy looking at the patterns on this fence to make a figure eight. So. <clears throat> if I were to manipulate this fence, this is the particular pattern that most of the uh, areas of the fence actually has. So you can take the sticks off like that, and you've, t you've made basically one of the little areas of the chain link fence. Well, how do you get back to making another area? I could move them up like that, and then again like that, and continue upward, <coughs> but that kind of makes a, a figure eight kind of pattern. Oh, well, maybe not. I'm not quite sure until I'll look at it later on. But uh, that is an idea. Now, the one problem with that is my hand comes in front of this one every time. So in order to continue to view the glow sticks from the audience's point of view, I'm going to have to find a way to move my hand to where the glow sticks are always in front. Something like that, maybe. But uh, that's one idea. Now, to completely stray away from that, if you notice this chain link fence doesn't just go up and down, it goes sideways. So I figure if I could make my glow sticks follow any particular area of the fence, I might be able to make some interesting looking moves. Now, it would take a lot of practice uh, in figuring out which direction I wanted to go, but uh, I could constantly follow these particular loops and uh, such on this chain link fence. Yeah, uh, if that made any sense at all. <laughs> I'm just kind of rambling now because I'm following the fence and seeing what I could possibly do. So I could actually go down here because the wires follow that direction and uh, turn it around like that. If I were to actually follow the fence, that involves uh, quite a bit of tutting there, but it will actually teach you uh, a really good uh, how to tut. So, if you got a chain link fence around and you want to learn how to tut, just do this. Follow the pieces of the fence. Your glow sticks will be straight. And it'll teach you how to keep them straight. Anyway, but uh, that's my idea. I just thought that I would share that. And uh, hopefully I'll progress glow sticking in some sort of a way with it. And I'm going to continue to make videos like this. Because ginseng has gotten me interested in it. And I think it's a pretty cool idea to actually take something from everyday life and make it into a glow sticking concept. So if I were to somehow put this into my glow sticking, then uh, I've got something new that nobody else has. And hopefully other people will pick it up, and uh, that's where the art advances. Alright, well that's it for me.